Hey guys, my name is Ethan, this is Cobra, and welcome to the series where I teach you how to manipulate images in Python. Today we're actually going down a completely different road to any of the others we've been done so far, and we're looking into filters. So this is going to be a few episodes talking about this. So in this one in particular, we're going to be looking at stuff like blurring and embossing the image. So we're going to be applying these filters uh, to the image and see what they all do. Of course, if you find the video helpful at any point, then make sure to hit the like button to let me know and consider subscribing and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss out on future installments in the series. But with that out of the way, let's get into it. So this video is going to be a little bit different to the others. What I'm going to be doing here is just running Pillow through every single filter that it has and showing you what it does. We're going to be doing that in a for loop. And because that is very boring to type out, I'm not going to be typing a lot of it. But I thought I'd at least do um, the imports and the base code, and then I can just put in the filters afterwards. So, from Pill, um, also, fans of new imports, we have one. Oh my goodness. Uh, so, image, image, draw, and we have image filter. Welcome to the party, my man. Uh, these, uh, uh, This is the filter... Object. So basically it just has a load of filters on it. <laughs> it's pretty much what we need to know there. Uh, we're not going to be doing any functions here. So if name equals uh, main will be quite good enough. And actually what I'm going to do here is I'm going to copy and paste our list of filters or dictionary filters in. Bam. You see why I didn't want to print that all out now. <laughs> um, but I will explain after I uh, put a pass here because that's going to be annoying me. So we have all these filters. A lot of them are self-explanatory, so we have the blurs and all that stuff. We have the edge enhances, we have the emboss, we have the sharpen and smooth, uh, different types of blurs, and then some mask as well. Uh, some of these actually are objects that take parameters. Um, it's a shame I can't remember what those parameters are. Let's see if we can get the uh, the autocomplete to actually tell us. Can we get this to come up? There we go. Oh, the radius, okay. So, I mean, yeah, I mean, I'm not an image editing expert, but essentially the higher the number, the more blurred it would be uh, for both of these. And I'm presuming the Gaussian blur is very much the same with the with the radius. So that will make more sense to people who know about uh, image uh, editing more than I do. I pretty much just do thumbnails and all that stuff. So whatever. But uh, we're going to essentially get the program to create an image with all of those filters and then we're just going to look through them and see what they do. So for key value in filters.items uh, with image.open <clears throat> Actually, do we really want to do that? Yeah, we kind of have to do that every single time. Um, I don't know. Is there a better way of doing it? I don't know. Uh, but this is what this is actually it's just called plane.jpg. Yeah, uh, this is why I actually had the plane one because I thought the plane image would be really good for this video We will see if I was right about that, but it should be uh, m equals m dot filter value and an m dot save uh, and then an f string uh, dot slash saved images slash filters oh, Actually, no, I cleared out the directory especially for this and then we have the key.jpg. So essentially, uh, we are applying the the value to im.filter. So the values are the image filter.blur, image filter.contour. You pass, at, uh, you're actually passing in the object into the filter here. So you can literally just iterate through these and it work. And then we're just using the key uh, to give us a nice um, file name. Otherwise, it looks awful. Python tutorial five. I did uh, actually put everything in. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so that's all the coding we're doing today. Uh, and as you can see, the they are working. So I obviously did something, right? There we go. Takes a while. Again, there's, pro there's probably a more efficient way of doing this, but you're not going to be doing this um, in the real world. This is just literally a showcase of all the filters. So we're going to go from the top, and we're not going to go in the order it says here. This is just the order they are in the documentation, but obviously we're going in alphabetical order now. Okay, hold up, hold up. Before we do that, uh, I actually did run this on the plane, and it was an awful example of basically every single filter. So we're doing this again with a different image. <laughs> we're use, uh, we're going to use the Blossom one, because I think that might be all right. And if we run this now, it will take a while because it has to do a load of different images. And hopefully we'll actually get something that can sort of demonstrate these. A lot of these effects are quite subtle. Uh, actually, what I might do is I might set this to like 10 just so you can show and uh, 25 just to actually show the effects off. So I'll just run that again and it will overwrite the Im images we currently have. And just wait for that to um to finish. Yeah, 
A lot of these are quite subtle, so you may not see the differences at first, but I'm going to load up the control. So this is the control image. This is the blossom that we used in the shapes video. And this is the blossom blurred. So you can see it is, it, it's certainly a little bit more blurred. As you can see, there's qu quite a bit of detail here. We're losing a bit of detail there, so it's definitely blurred. The box blur, I turned up quite a bit, so as you can see, that is very blurred. Um, the contour, oh yeah, that's a that's a far better example of the contour. On the on the plane, it was just like one or two lines. But this, I'm not actually sure what contouring an image does. It appears to have like reverse embossed it, which is interesting. Hmm, that's quite a neat effect. Actually, it look, kind of looks as though it's drawn it on there. It looks like sketched. That's kind of, I love the mess down here. That's kind of funny. Uh, detail adds detail to an image. I'm not sure we're really going to be able to get a good example of this. Um, does it actually do anything? It's not, it doesn't appear to be doing anything in this image. Oh, it's actually it is a bit. You can see, you can see like here, this white is a bit more pronounced, I think. Um, there is a good chance that YouTube compression isn't even picking up on that. <laughs> uh, but we'll have to see. Edge enhance. Oh, this is edge enhance more. So as you can see, there's definitely a difference. It's it's actually just outlined all the white. Uh, it's just, that's actually a really weird effect. It's like a weird pop effect. I kind of like that in a weird way. And edge enhance is just a little bit less of that. Uh, and then you have emboss. Oops, which pretty much does exactly it says it. it. It's it's like it's embossed on a some metal. It appears to have done it on. Which is kind of cool. Find edges is an edge detect. That looks absolutely terrifying. My word, that, that doesn't look like a blossom tree at all. If anyone, if, it, if anyone said to me there's an edge detect of a blossom tree, I wouldn't believe him. I don't think it's really done the outlines of the blossoms. I think it's mainly just done the... Uh, that's only a few places. It's mainly just done the... <laughs> the highway from orbit down here. My goodness. Gaussian blur. Wow, I turned that up real strong, didn't I? Very much see what that's doing. Sharpen sharpens the image again. I'm not sure we're going to see much of a effect. Oops, it is. Um, I will put it side by side, but I want to get. Oh, it's. I think it's done a. Yeah, it's done a bit. You can tell it's, it's sharpened it a bit. So you can see this. This one here is a bit blurred, and now it's sharpened it a bit. Smooth more. Um, presumably just smooths the image out. I think it's kind of blurred it or more than anything. Yeah, it looks to have blurred it a bit, and then they're smooth. Um, which again doesn't do all that much and there is Unsharp Mask which is doing doing something it appears to have, like kind of popped everything out it's very interesting uh, so if we can try it looks like it's kind of had a similar effect to the edge effect uh, to the edge yeah it's had, a, it's had a similar effect to the edge um, not the edge detect what was it edge enhance uh, it's done a similar sort of thing there so yeah, those are all the different built-in filters. Um, nothing amazingly impressive. I suppose the blur is really the only one you're ever going to use, as far as I can tell. I can't see a reason to use most of these other ones. Um, but I thought I would show them all off. This is, you know, a tutorial. I thought I would do that. I wouldn't recommend just using this code. I would only use the ones that you want. So you could potentially do a Gaussian blur for, like, backgrounds and stuff if you had something on top of it. <clears throat> so say you had a card with, like, a name and, a, and an image, and then you had... Uh, you wanted to blur a background you could use the Gaussian blur and you could set this number specifically so this is probably the best one to use um, the rest of it, the detail where is it, it uh, the detail and the sharpen do have effects on I think slightly more blurry images so in the stream we went over one that was a bit better but uh, with slightly more detailed images it's not quite as effective but you can play around with, it, with your own images and see if you can see any sort of other major results uh, but if you do have any questions um, about these filters, then feel free to let me know in the comments, or you can join the Discord server using the link in the description. But with that, that's all I really have to say about filters. I would like to thank my super patron, Darky, and all of my other patrons for being as awesome as they are. And I will see you next time, where we talk about uh, colour filters. So we're going to be doing stuff like the Pride filter and, and all that stuff. Um, so yeah, I know a lot of people want to see that one, so I'll see you then.